Welcome back everybody. Today I'm testing out three different unusual sunglasses, all of them that's been advertising online and all of them have a feature that makes them stand apart from regular sunglasses. We have the Peak reversible sunglasses, the Core magnetic sunglasses, and the Ombra's armless sunglasses. Let's see how they really work in today's video. Let's first flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. All right, these are the Peak glasses. They normally cost about 120 bucks, but they're often on sale for about 50 or 60. The claims are just the world's first reversible sunglasses. They say it's a result of five years of research and development. It's basically two pairs of glasses in one. All right, here we go, interesting. Now, I don't know if they're polarized or not, so I'm gonna have to uh, pull out my polarization card and, and double check that myself, so I'll check that and then uh, get started. Let's take a look now at the Core Badlands glasses. These typically cost about 150 bucks. Now the main feature is this supposedly has smart magnets in each arm. These magnets allow you to hold your glasses in any shirt, jacket, or gear when not in use. No more slipping or lost glasses. The lens is enhanced natural colors, high grade polarization, UV 400 protection, comes with a travel tube right here, and a visor strap. Those magnets feel pretty strong. All right, cool, well, let me uh, try these out and see how they look. All right, here are the Ombres glasses. And here are the glasses themselves with a cloth as well. Oh, the cloth is built into the pouch. That's kind of cool. Now these cost about 160. The claims are that it's more comfortable because it eliminates all pressure points, more durable because there are no screws, hinges, or side arms to break, stays in your head more securely, and it's easy to pack. All right, let me just try these on real quick and see how they all feel here. Let's start off with the core. Now the sunglasses, let's see what we got here. They feel pretty nice. They feel very sturdy, probably sturdier than, the, uh, than most glasses I've tried. They feel very rugged, very heavy duty. But uh, that's not really the whole point of this. The, the point of these are the magnetic feature in here, which, wow, they, those are some strong magnets. Wow. <laughs> I just got some chest hair. I got some chest hair there. But that's pretty, uh, that's pretty sturdy. Let me try this. Okay, well, that's not, that's not going anywhere. Go to a metal concert and have your glasses there. Yeah, I don't know, that seems pretty sturdy. I'll go outside and do some actual tests with these and let you look through these and see how they look. They feel really solid, very sturdy. Uh, as glasses, they fit very comfortably. There's kind of almost a rounded feel to them. So it kind of goes, it contours your head. That feels nice. Uh, the magnetic feature at first glance seems pretty good. We'll have to go outside and see how they work. Next up, let's try the peaks. Now these are interesting because they can, they're basically two different types of glasses. So the way you're supposed to do these is you have this hinge right here that they say turn 90 degrees. They can allow you to turn it that way. And then I guess you just turn it back. Uh, kind of like that. So I'll do the other one now. That's interesting because the back of the frames are kind of pointing outward instead of inward. That's different. Let me put these back to the black side first and try them on. This is a, I don't know, this is a black configuration. Let's see what we got here. All right, they feel pretty standard. Um, they feel decently well made. They don't, I mean, it doesn't really jump out at me. The cores jump out at me as being very well made. These are, are decently made. Looking through them in here, indoors, it looks pretty good. Let me switch it out and, and flip it around and see how it looks in the other direction. So turn it 90 degrees, turn it around. All right, so now we've got it flipped around this way, but this is kind of weird how it's, they're pointing outward instead of inward. Let's see. Oh wow, it doesn't fit as well. It doesn't fit as well that way. Maybe because the, the back of those arms are pointing outward, it just, it actually feels smaller. Looking through them, the lens looks fine, but they don't feel, they feel like they're gonna slip off. That's very strange. It should be the same length as it was before, but the fact that the arms are pointing outward instead of inward makes them feel shorter and makes them feel less secure. Hmm. I guess that works out because I don't like this, this design as much as just plain black. So let me flip it back over. All right, so now here, they're pointing inward. They're pointing inward like that. Black feels better. Uh, it shouldn't feel different, but they do. The, the other way feels shorter. Very strange. But I'll take these both outside and see how they look, see how they feel, and maybe it'll change outside. We'll see. Next up is time for the Ombres. Ombres? I can, I can never seem to pronounce this right. Ombres. All right, the lenses look different, but look at these. This is just interesting. It's a strap. I suppose you're, you can pull these outward to tighten or pull the cord to loosen. 
So let me just put it on my head and see how tight or loose it is. All right, it feels a little bit loose. There's a little bit of play there. I don't think you want that much play. So let me see, I'm gonna pull on the back. I'm gonna pull these to tighten. All right, that did tighten. That did, that did tighten, okay. Uh, the lenses look really nice, I will say that. It feels different because you don't even feel anything. I mean, you don't even really feel the strap. It barely even touches my head. So you just kind of feel almost like you have these lenses just dangling off the front of your face. Is it interesting? Taking them off, I can use one hand. Can you put it on with one hand? Let's see. I guess you can. Not bad. All right, I'm going to go outside and try these out as well. I'll let you look through all these lenses and uh, we'll kind of just uh, see what we come up with. All right, so let's head outside and get started. Let's start off with the, in no particular order, the Ombras. And there we go, that's, that's kind of how it looks. It's, uh, it's an amber tint and it's pleasant looking. I'm not sure if it's very pleasant to the camera, but it's pleasant through my eyes. Th those weeds are not pleasant to look through, but they just popped it the other day. And these are the peaks, as you can see, there's, there's a little bit of amber tint to it, but not as much as the Ombras. You can also see the top is a little bit darker than the bottom. You can see how it darkens towards the top. It's like a gradiated uh, effect there. And finally the core, you can see what that looks like. It's just, it just darkens everything. It's more of a, a gray tint. It's also a pleasant to look through, but for some reason it's not quite as, as nice as the amber, I think. All right, so the core glasses, they feel fine. They look fine. It's more of a gray tint where the Ombras was a, a, a amber tint. Uh, there's a lot of glare today, and I would think that the, the glare is, is certainly better uh, with these. So there are higher end glasses. They kind of feel solid. They look good. Uh, I really don't have much complaints about as far as uh, the appearance looks. All right, trying the ombras here. I, I actually really like the way the lenses look. I'm not sure about the elastic frame yet, but I'm actually very convinced about these lenses. I really like the way everything looks. It's very clear. I would almost venture to say that things look clearer with these lenses. It's, there's a lot less glare. I, I like them. I like the lenses. So, so, so far, so good on this one. What's interesting about the peak glasses is that their tint is kind of almost in between the core and the ombras. It's kind of like a slight amber tint, not quite as amber as one, but more amber than the other. The lenses look pretty good. I'm not sure if the lenses look as good as the other two. I would say just looking through them, maybe it's not quite as good as the, as the other options. I also, um, this is the only one where I feel like I see a little bit of reflection from behind. I'm seeing some lights from behind, which I don't see in the other ones. I don't think these are as comfortable as the others I've tried either though. So I think that this one right now is probably in third place, but we got a long way to go. What's funny is that a lot of my initial observations like about the cores kind of are still panning out. Like they're just good solid glasses. They feel very well made and the lenses lo look pretty good. But I really need to test out the magnet feature a little bit more. I still like the amber tint to the ombras, but I really need to test out these kind of elastic bands a little bit more as well. Now the peak glasses, I don't really feel like I have much else to really test on them. And the, the reversible feature feels pretty gimmicky to me. What's also worse is that one of the reversible sides seems to fit worse than the other. So I have more tests to do on two of them, but the peaks, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do too much more as far as test goes. There's not much else to test. All right, well, the upside down test, I would say the Ombres is working pretty well and the core is too. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with how well they stay in place. How do I get down from here? Well, I can't really spin myself around to the point that where I'm really giving the cores a great test. So I figured I would put it on a shirt here and just kind of wave it around and see how it holds in place. We shall see. Well, that's pretty good. What do you think? It's not coming off, so I think the cores work pretty well. One more thing I should point out. Something about these that I don't like. I like a lot of things about the Ombras, but if you're wearing a hat, you want to take them off? That doesn't work so well. Or if you're wearing a hat, you want to put them on? That doesn't work so well either. They're not really hat friendly, but otherwise I like them. Let's try this now. The slide test. Oh, I think I'm stuck. I shouldn't be doing this. Oh. Ow. That clearance is for kids, not adults. Oh, I'm not doing that again. Time for the polarization test. If the word max appears in black, they're polarized. If not, they're not. First up, ombras. And boom, polarized. Core. Polarized. Peak. Ooh. 
not polarized. I posted a poll on Instagram to see what people thought about these and there was a clear winner in those. Most people seem to think the Umbras were the best looking, although the core were a respectable second and the Peaks were a distant third. But let's talk about the pros and cons of all three of these. As far as the Umbras pros goes, I love the lenses on these. Probably my favorite of the bunch. I like the amber tint. They're very clear. They reduce glare. I've started to get used to the strap and I've actually reached these a few times, so I think I'm going to keep using them. Uh, some of the cons are you really can't just rest it on your shirt or on your head as easily as you can in regular glasses, so you have to kind of account for that. And as I showed, they're not very hat friendly. Now, as far as the core goes, these have the most rugged feeling, well-made frames of the bunch. They also reduce glare and their advertised magnetic feature works quite well. Now, not a lot of cons with the core. I think the magnets sometimes work too well. Like when it's on your shirt, sometimes you actually need two hands to get it apart because it's too awkward with one hand. The carrying tube is kind of large for this one, but it does fit in a cup holder, so maybe there's a trade-off there. Now the peak glasses, some of the pros on this one is that the lenses look pretty good. I have no problem with that. And the reversible feature does actually work, so you essentially get two different looking pairs of sunglasses in one unit. I kind of find the engineering of this to be rather impressive. But as far as cons go, the overall concept just seems totally gimmicky to me. They're the least comfortable of the bunch. They reflect light from behind. They don't feel as well made as the others, and the reversible feature seems to fit better one way than the other. And most people on Instagram said this was the least attractive sunglasses of the three I tested. So which one is my favorite? I would say the core has my favorite frames, and the Ombres has my favorite lenses. The Peaks didn't really win any categories. But if you've used any of these glasses, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.